I've been with the company for 10 years. I've been playing Vic Firth mallets for that time. And I'm really excited to announce my new signature series. It's something that Neil and I have been working on for a long time. And I've always felt that even the, all the series that were available, there was still not my sound. I could create a conglomerate sound of all these different mallets, but I never got the sound that I heard in my head. And we came up with a new mallet that has a core that none of the other mallets have that was finally my sound. And the great thing about it is it not only works as a standalone set, but it can uh, work with the multi-app set, it can work with the Pizzante set, it can work with the Markworths in conjunction with whatever you're normal normally using, but then you can also just use those mallets by themselves and they can stand alone as their own series. With the Marimba series, uh, we came up with five different mallets, and it seems like a lot, but the spectrum that you need for today's percussion ensemble is pretty vast, so I wanted to make sure there were no gaps in it. And even from the hardest mallet all the way down to the softest mallet, I still wanted to keep the keyboard mallets able to play competitive material, so we don't have any just pure roller mallets, and we don't have any mallets that are just extremely bright mallets. They're all mallets where you can play active material across multiple ranges of the keyboard, while at the same time maintaining a consistent dark sound because the core is the same through all of the keyboard mallets. With the Vibe series, we use the exact same core as the marimbas, so that softer rubber allows us that same universal blend across the board. We don't get any spikes with the microphones. We also decided to use a thicker rattan shaft so that there is not as much flex in the mallet when we're playing faster two mallet work or inside mallet passages. In general, this series has a darker, warmer sound that's a little less bright and articulate than some of the other series. Um, and that's specifically to create a more even uh, sound across the board when we're miking the instrument. So even at the highest volume, um, with the hardest mallet in the marimba, we're still going to get a very soft, warm sound up top. And this softer core allows the student to dig in without overly articulating on the keyboard instrument. Your mallet selection is gonna be one of your biggest investments for the front ensemble. So you wanna make sure that your investment is going to last. And I can tell you from all the testing that we've done that these mallets last so long compared to other mallets I've used in the past because of the soft core. Uh, with the Blue Stars, I took a mallet that went two months of just getting pounded and I put a, a brand new mallet in my other hand. I played them both, A, b them, and they sounded almost identical. As the yarn compresses on these specific mallets, the tone color doesn't change because we don't have a really hard core in the center. So the, depending on how old the mallet is, doesn't really matter. You can bring a new pair out, you can bring an old pair out, and the sounds are almost identical. This mallet series has been put through the ringer. It's gone through the rigors of summer. It's been in the professional's hands. It's been in young kids' hands. And we've really done all the testing we could possibly do, and I couldn't be more confident in the sound and consistency of these mallets. Thank you.